All right, welcome back, everybody. I pray y'all are having a wonderful, blessed day as we thank the Most High for so much. Uh, my title now says, Preaching Another Jesus. Preaching Another Jesus. And now uh, let me say this before I get started. I'm not going to be on live tonight um, on YouTube, so that's why I want to do this video right here. Uh, we've been having some good live sessions, and I appreciate everybody that's been coming on. Uh, and the other day, we talked about um, Bible translations, the blessing of it, and then the um, the trouble that it causes by having, you know, all those different translations, and how Satan has Bibles also. And I was led in my spirit um, to do this video here about preaching another Jesus. Um, and let me give a shout out to you, Bobby. Um, great email. Um, when you look at what's going on, uh, let me just say this too. Some people use the name Jesus. We already know that. And some don't. Um, then some people just don't care at all. And we know the name um, means the anointed one. Uh, some may say Savior, salvation, you know. And we know that um, in, the, in the Greek and the Hebrew, there was no letter J. So I'm just saying this before I get started. It's just each to their own. What worked for you is what worked for you. Because I'm not here to, um, you know, cause all that confusion about using the name Jesus and all that. I leave that up to people who like to debate, fuss, and fight, and cause division. But this name, um, the name Jesus, when you look around, um, if so many people say that he wasn't real, or his name don't matter, why do so much? Why do so many people spend so much time on somebody or something they care nothing about? You see what I'm saying? And you notice that this, the letter, not the letter J, but the name Jesus is is so popular. When you say it, the Bible say even demons will flee. Now, what I want to get at is that um, I want you to feel me on this real careful um, because the name Jesus. And the fake image that you see, it already got so many people fooled. That's why um, they're going to stay laws. Uh, let me just say it like this. They already laws because so many people have been brainwashed and tricked on who he is and what he truly looks like. And if you know anything about the devil being an uh, angel of light, Satan is an angel of light, then you'll see how he's always trying to mess up an image also. So I want to go to um, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, and we're going to deal with verses um, verses 3 and verse 4, and I'm going to stop right there, because it says in the word, But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit which ye have not received, or another gospel which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. Do we catch this, y'all? Look at verse 4 very closely. If he come at preaching the what? Another Jesus. That let you know there was more than one Jesus. Fake Jesus. Whom we have not preached. Notice he said if they come preaching another Jesus. Or if you receive another spirit. Or if you receiving another gospel. Which you have not accepted. If you put that them three together right there. Another Jesus. Another spirit. Another gospel. Now what do you see right now? The prosperity gospel. Now. When you look at, you start diagnosing every religion, somebody's waiting on somebody to come back. When you look at the Muslims, look at what they teach. You know, look at what they're waiting to return. He's a teacher. You know, look at what the Jews say. And most of them just call them crazy. And look at what the Jehovah Witnesses say. So with all the different religions and, and the things that you see, everybody waiting on some type of return. We already know what the Christians, the Christians say. Now, think about this. 
why is so many people fascinated off the blue-eyed white Jesus? Y'all remember that video I did? Why is that image so important to them? It's not important to me. Never have been. I never understood it and never did agree with it. But I'm, I'm going to say this again. Ask yourself, if the name Jesus don't mean so much to so many people, why is everybody using it? Hmm. Why are so many people down in it? If you didn't care about it, why are you wasting time trying to defend others and all kind of stuff? Now, you know what I'm saying? If the name don't mean that much to you, why is everybody still using it? And I know what the name means, once again, like I just said. And I'm not saying this in any way to take away from the meaning of Jesus. That's not what, I, that's not what I'm doing here. My point is, if he never existed, once again, like many people say, a name that has no meaning according to what y'all said, then why is it so much being used? See, teach Holy Spirit. When you when you look at this, the enemy, the enemy cannot stop you from your personal relationship with our Savior. The enemy, the enemy can't stop you from knowing our Savior. Now, the minds of the unbelievers, you know, the unbelievers are blinded, but they can't stop you because they know it's power in their name. Just like Brother P.P. Jones was saying. He did an old video. With it. When he called out Jesus, his finances went sky high. When he called out Jesus, sickness went away. When he called out demons, sickness. So the enemy knows that. So since they can't stop you from using that name, what do they do? They try to confuse you on who you're talking about. Sending mixed messages, different pictures, confusion. False religions always show confusion, y'all. That's why, once again, religion re means to bind again. See, a big trick that the enemy is using also is for you to mix up who you're talking about. Why you think Satan always try to take a little bit of truth and mix it with a whole lot of lies? I always ask people, what's the biggest trick the devil ever used? Most people are going to say making people believe he never existed. That's a good answer. But my answer is his biggest trick also was twisting the word. Because if he can move one word out of a scripture, just as he tried to do on our Savior when, when our Savior was in the wilderness, being tempted by him for 40 days and 40 nights when he went without eating, without sleeping. He twisted up the word. And, and you catch the Bible, I think that was in Matthew 4, our Savior told him, man does not live by bread alone, but every word that comes out of the mouth of the Father. See, when you put the word on the devil, the devil don't have, he can't do nothing but flee. But the enemy want to mix you up on who you are talking about. The other night, on here in live talk, I asked the question. I said, Where did this blue eyed Jesus, white Jesus picture come from? And uh, somebody said, Caesar. Um, and I, I said, Right on the nail. They hit the nail right on the head. Caesar Bo Borgia, however you say the last name, Borgia, I believe. But we talked about this on, on um, live YouTube. And I just want to teach this right quick because I got to go. But why do you think they put that false image of Jesus in your mind? Because when he returns, that's what people are going to think he look like. And that's fake, false, antichrist, lies. He's not going to look like what, me, what most people think he's going to look like. Hell, let's be real. Hollywood already got you fooled. Because when you study, you see something different. But let's teach this right quick. There was that Pope guy. Gangster, I think. Pope Alexander. He had a son. And he had a gay son. That's his gay son. That's who Caesar Bogia was. He was gay. And then he was... Caesar was in love with who? Leonardo da Vinci. Y'all remember that movie, The Da Vinci Code? Why they come out with all this stuff to try to, you see what I'm saying? 
So Caesar Borgil was a homosexual and he was in love with a gay man by the name of Leonardo da Vinci. Now that's who painted that blue-eyed white Jesus. So who do you think that picture that so many people got hanging in their church, hanging in their house, who do you think that's really a picture of? You see what I'm saying now? Ain't no way in hell I hang that mess up in my house. I don't care nothing about an image anyway, you know. The Bible teaches us about crosses and, and, and trying to have these images and stuff hanging up and making, trying to make a picture of our Savior, man. That, that never was supposed to happen. But they forced this image on the church. That's why I say Caesar Borgia, his daddy was a G. He was a gangster. He was ruthless. So this is why you must understand when Paul said they come preaching any other Jesus. You see what I'm saying? The question is now who's going to recognize the truth? Who's going to recognize the truth? He said once again, for if he that cometh preaching another Jesus whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit which ye have not received, or another gospel which ye have not accepted, you might as well bear with him. See, the whole job was to get us used to that false image, these lies. That's why so much confusion and people divided up because of the name. See, Satan, all Satan needed is, is one shot to get that lie in there. And then if he can get you lost on names, titles, looks, just like my race of people still, most of us still walking around don't know who we are, and our Savior really showed who we was. When you learn who you are, when you learn better, you should do better. But if you caught on what so many people been teaching for years, I'm going to say this again as I close it. Make me go back to the one of the old episodes of Good Times. I talked about this on YouTube Live. On Good Times when uh, when JJ painted the picture of Black Jesus, which was Ned DeWine. Oh, Y'all remember that episode for those that looked at Good Times growing up. He, he put that, and, and Michael was just trying to tell Florida, his mother, that, you know, but mom is right there in the Bible. It's, you know, look, what the, look at what it described him as. And Florida ain't never read Revelation a day in her life. She said, well, oh my, it does say that. She was shocked because she was so caught on that image. That picture of that blue-eyed white Jesus that never was the Jesus that they were talking about. And for those that don't use the name Jesus, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yahshua, you know. Yahusha. You know, those that just, you know, you know, we I'm just teaching, you know, because everybody don't use the name Jesus. I'm not down to people that do once again. You know, what you use is what you use. We just teaching her and clearing up some things. So that's why Paul said if they come preaching another Jesus, that lets you know how many people was out there, you know, um, faking and shaking. And it make you wonder now what they really preaching in these churches right now. So with that being said, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. And once again, I won't see you tonight, um, but I'll probably come on tomorrow. So have a wonderful, blessed day.